Well, you know, I just I haven't seen much research or anything too much on these. Uh, I've been collecting them for quite a long time. I've got many more, uh, more different models than this, so I'll probably do some uh, videos on those in the future. Uh, but these are some of the ones I just thought were kind of most interesting. And, uh, and these three in particular. Now, a lot of people misidentify these or simply don't know what they are, really. They think they're World War II, but these are actually from the First World War. Um, now these two... Well, let's start at the very beginning. Uh, the one that I believe to be the oldest from the limited amount of material out there and research that I was able to do. Uh, this lantern here is made by Grather. And the tag on the top is, is very difficult to read because it's been damaged. So I've had to go with this parts of it with a magnifying glass but uh, one of the things is that's uh, clear enough on it to read is it's it's patent pending uh, the patent on this particular model was issued in 1917 so this was actually made before the patent uh, so this lamp saw service in the first world war and you can see here on the back it's emblazoned very simply US Navy Get this leather strap here uh, and this was a somebody did this repair who was not me acid has eaten a hole right right in this area through the cast aluminum casing and uh, they simply decided they were gonna screw that little strip of uh, aluminum on there it looks like it was out of a window frame or something uh, one of these days I'll get that welded. You also notice it's got this an interesting switch on here. Now some people misidentify these and think they're a push button. It's what we're used to, but it actually pulls out to turn it on. And if you take that switch out, I, I've done a little did a little video on those switches some time ago, taking them apart uh, and showing how to repair them because you can't get them anymore. The switch itself was patented in 1911, if I recall correctly. So, interesting. So now we move on. Still World War I era. Still Grather Fire Equipment Company as the manufacturer, but a different model. Uh, they sold this commercially in their catalogs as the number six model. I can't remember. They had different model numbers. I can't remember this model number. I would imagine it's lower than number six, but... This one was patented in 1918, but again, we see on here that the, uh, the, the patents are still pending. Let me see if I can get that, a good shot of that. Uh, very clear. Patents pending. We have another one of those funky pull switches, and, uh... I was very proud to have this one in my collection. It's practically untouched, and it still has its original bulb in it. And uh, if uh, you couldn't see it through the camera, I don't think, but uh, if you got in there really close, you can see that that filament in the bulb was actually even tied on there by hand. Very neat. Uh, <laughs> you're not going to get a replacement one of those. Not with that globe on it. Uh, on the back we've got U.S. Navy, but we've also got this other information here. Uh, B-U-S-E-9-S-3035-L, type F. Uh, now what, what could that mean? Uh, well, it actually it took me some time, but in my research, I, I ended up finding out that uh, for 
or at least I, I kind of came to the conclusion that BUSC actually stands for the Bureau of Steam Engineering, uh, whom in some research that I was, and I can't recall the book off the top of my head, but uh, some old publication that was in Google Books, they were talking about the greater fire equipment company having lanterns tested <laughs> by the Bureau of Steam Engineering within the Navy, so... Uh, if you look at them too, they're very, you know, the guys that like steampunk will probably cream their pants looking at these things. <laughs> uh, but this is real, and it was there. You know, that's, you know, it's been cleaned up slightly, but that is all, that is all original. And we have an added feature too in the evolution of the battle lantern. Is that this little knob, if you turn it, will, it, it's connected to a screw. And that moves the bulb, uh, moves it in and out of the reflector to focus it. So it's actually a focusing device. Uh, so these are the two greater made lanterns that were made in the World War One period for the Navy. But it, it, people that know the Battle Lantern know that uh, you know they're more familiar with the Delta lanterns. Another electric famous company. They made lots of electric lanterns over the years. And so here we have Delta Electric Lantern. And uh, if you look at the back, we've actually got the same markings and numbers. You see U.S. Navy, Bureau of Steam Engineering, 9S3035-L Type F. And by the way, if anybody can get a little more information out of this I'd be happy to know we have an adjustment knob same as the earlier grader and uh, that did the same thing of course this is in this case it's not original the original would have been brass and this is I, don't know, I really don't know where this came from but I've got to machine another one <laughs> uh, when I get a chance on my lathe we've got the same same funky switch, and these took the same batteries. These all took the uh, the number six dry cell, as it was known at the time, which was a large uh, one and a half volt battery, and uh, it took two of them. So these three volt bulbs, and for anybody that's looking for a bulb for one of these or any of the up to World War Two era. Battle Lanterns. It's a 1491 Mazda, M-A-Z-D-A, and please do not confuse that with the automobile. And uh, and yes, so this is the these three are all the World War One era. Uh, and after that, now we've gone up into the uh, in between the war era, you know. And the Navy has decided they've gone with Delta, but they've gone with uh, a much newer design. Uh, we've got a different number on here. 9S4432-L. But each part also has a number. So, dash 3. Up here, uh, on the handle we've got dash 4. Um, and I believe the lid is actually... Uh, it's actually dash five or dash six. Um, this back plate is not original, and I wish I would have realized that I grabbed this one before I started the video. But I have one that's got the markings on the back. Uh, Delta Electric Company I actually actually made that <laughs> because uh, somebody put some kind of funky one on there that uh, didn't really do anything. And that's of course a bracket to hang this on the bulkhead. Um, and of course, they had it on this, and uh, on this, it, it it's actually back here. If you look, there's a space. Uh, so these would all hang on the same type of bracket. It's just a, a flat blade that comes out from all sticks up. Uh, not sure how they secured these because there is no provision for a bracket. Uh, you'll see uh, because these two models were not only made for the Navy, but they were also made actually more commonly for 
uh, the civilian and the industrial market to more industrial. Uh, I've seen advertising for, you know, tell your public works to use greater lanterns and, uh, and your fire departments and things like that, which is, there was their initial purpose. These were for firefighters and if you read the old patents, the, you know, they were supposed to be able to smash through windows and things like that. Well, I guess I'll end the video before it gets too long and, you know, let me know if you know anything more, if you uh, can garner in any information from the Bureau of Steam Engineering numbers on these. Uh, I, I'd like to know. Uh, yeah. Before the video gets too long, I just suppose I'll end it. Have a nice day.